Hello, I need your help. I can't decide which one I like more. This blue design or this purple one. They both look nice. Hmm. Maybe if I change the brightness. Yes, here is another internet clock and I'm using Lily Go T Display S3 again. But this video is not about internet clocks. In this video I will teach you how to make similar design for your project. I love how this turned out and I'm sure this will look great on my work desk. My friends will probably ask me where to buy this. Like always, I will share my code for this clock and I will show you how to upload it to your T-Display board using Arduino IDE. There are a few settings you will need to modify, so stay tuned. You can use this method for any project or any interface. Sometimes we need just a good idea. We don't need fancy software, library, force or magic. While digging in this mess I find this clock. This is a PCB I designed many years ago. I made a video about this clock and uh, that video was the first video I made for PCBWay company. PCBWay was my first sponsor and they helped me a lot with this channel. I will always recommend them because their PCBs are really well made and cheap. You can find this project on their site. I will share links in description. Don't forget to check their site. You can find many interesting projects and PCBs there. I wanted to see if I still have files for this clock and when I found them an idea came to my mind. I can use this as the background image of my project. So I designed a new fake circuit just for this purpose. You can use KiCad for example, because it is free. In preview mode I used Windows Sniper tool to make an image out of this. Then I used a paint net, you can even use basic paint software to edit pictures and by painting some of these lines I made many similar images which will make this nice random animation. Then I converted each image to format TFT SPI needs and I created two dimensional array of these images. Data are stored in header file it is important that the images have the same resolution as our display, which is 320 by 117. Here is the code. Every second another random image is used as the background of this clock. So we have simple animation. Time is fetched from the internet. You saw this so many times on my channel. Like always, code is free and you can find it in description. But before uploading, you will need to set up your Wi Fi data here. You will need also to set up your time zone here. And you will need to adjust a few settings in Arduino IDE. Flash size need to be 8 megabytes and you will need to set partition settings. You will choose this one, also 8 megabytes. Images inside these header files needs lots of memory so default 4 megabyte is not enough. You will notice that uh, this code is pretty short maybe 100 lines of code. So it is pretty simple. The trick is background images. I hope you will learn 
something from this code. It is pretty simple, and but the final result is nice. If you don't own the Display S3, you can find links in the description. You can choose a version with shell or without them. I love these black and grey shells and you can even put batteries inside. I hope this video was helpful, I hope this video will uh, release your creativity, I hope you will make something nice and good looking using this method and I hope my clock design will be used around the world. If you want to help me run this channel, you can buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. But it was a hard week, so I'm more in the mood for beer. I hope you don't mind. Thank you for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. Uh, have fun with this and have a nice day. I will see you next week, maybe. Thank you. Goodbye.